Good morning, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can see me and hear me over the ocean. But I'm just in one of these little cabana things. You know, over here with all the shade and everything. But um, I was just thinking, what y'all think about, like, um, solo traveling? I've been thinking about it. You know, it's hard to get a group together to go on vacation. Everybody doesn't have their passport. My husband, he does. He has a traditional job, so he only gets so many PTO hours. So I was thinking, since I love traveling so much, um, doing a solo trip. You know, just try it out. Now, I have vacationing by myself before. Um... It was a long time ago, y'all, and it was hard, <laughs> but I was very young and determined, and I think I can do it again. This time, it'll be an adventure, so y'all comment below and let me know, you know, how y'all feel about, like, a, um, a solo trip, you know, do y'all want to see anything like that? I don't know, that'd be interesting. Imagine all the things I can get done by myself in a trip, and that would be really, really interesting to see, I think. So... That's what I'm just sitting here thinking about, you know, with my perfect view. But yeah, if I could do solo trips, I could go somewhere all the time, y'all. Like, like for real. So, y'all comment below on, you know, how y'all feel about solo trips. You know, what y'all scared of, what you should watch out for. Uh, if you could do a solo trip, where would you go? You know? If you travel alone, you will go a lot of places. I can tell you that. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers who've been um, traveling alone. And they be doing it up, y'all. They go so many places and they don't have nobody, you know, opinion on, you know, where you want to go. You go where you want to go because it's just you. And I think it'll be an adventure. So, yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And also let me know, you know, where do y'all, you know want to see if me and Raymond go or just me go or where y'all want to see you know because I know the world is closed right now but tell me some places that are open you know that I could go visit or you know maybe I can get family to visit with me you know just to you know see how the world is in all of this craziness all right to be continued y'all <laughs> okay so we are on our way to play some pool where it's air conditioned at Y'all see the sweat. It's hot out here, so we're gonna go do some indoor activity. So we're walking over here through all the rainforest and stuff. Oh, it looks like she's cleaning in here. Hopefully it's open. I don't know, y'all. I don't even know if it's open or not. Hold on. Okay, it is. Y'all see these Cheetos? Extra flaming hot Cheetos. It's a tiny bag. I don't know how many 21 pesos is. Guess we're gonna find out at the register. Run Cheetos. Ooh. Fritos. I want Eminem. Y'all, we found the taco stand. We couldn't find them. We went too early the other day. A grocery store called Aki or Aki. 
if it's Ikea, that means here. But we made it to the grocery store. And hopefully they have everything we need in here. Oh, it's a real grocery store, so probably do. Looks like a Walmart with all the clothes and stuff. Okay, y'all, so we parked the car again. <laughs> and we're headed in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta stay sanitized. Washing machine. It looks like it's for kids, but I think it's like a washer and dryer. Maybe a manual one. Y'all, they don't have bags, so. It's in my, all my snacks in my backpack. Okay, y'all, don't mind the sweat. It's hot. We just got in the room. But I lost y'all. I left y'all in the bike, and I thought y'all were going forever with all of the footage. But here we are. Raymond, the MVP. He gang gang all the way. He ran back to get it for me. Thank God. Um, and thank God the bikes are here instead of like somewhere else. But I'm already eating snacks because I know when I get home, snack time is over. Um, I got some Oreos. I think it was a dollar. I don't know, y'all. We bought $12 worth of stuff. But apparently in Mexico, this is what the Oreos come in. They come in a pack of 10. And they taste different, y'all. Like, what is the U.S. feeding us? Because this tastes way different than an Oreo in the U.S. It cannot be the same recipe. But it is way crunchier. It's like less stale than normal Oreos. Anyway, this is TMI, but let's move on. <laughs> I got some lemon. Lemon. I guess these are lime cookies, but they're crackers. They're they like crackers that they have like a slight, like a hint of lemon flavor or lime flavor in it. And they're not sweet enough to be a cookie, but they are right. And at the store, Raymond got some uh, shaving cream and some toothpaste. I'm sure they cost way too much, but uh, that's all they had. Already had that. I bought another one, and I bought two Arizonas from the store. And I got some of these. I thought these were regular Cheetos, but they're not. They're like corn, spicy, not cheese. I don't know. What does torcidios torcidos mean? I don't know. But they were, they're like a weird spice. The um, people told us that we when we got the bike, y'all, it was like four, four something. And they said that we have until six to bring them back. We didn't know there was a time limit on bikes. So we rushed there and we rushed back. <laughs> I told Raymond we were riding bikes like Jody on Baby Boy, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we are going to the National Park where they have the pyramids and all the things that we couldn't find before. So it's like a three mile, it's like a three mile bike ride or three kilometer bike ride. Here we go. Through. Here. Oh look, it perfectly goes through. Almost perfect. Good thing we didn't drive. <laughs> okay, it says Park National Tulum. They got the beach, they got the Mayans. It looked like they got Wi-Fi. Is that Wi-Fi? <laughs> they got the air. I don't know what that means. But I know we're going in the right direction. So, back to the bike riding. Oh, what's this? All right, so we parked our bikes over here, our vehicles. <laughs> that says, no, don't put the bikes over there. That's weird. So we put them over here. And then this sign says it's bike parking. Like, which side is bike parking? I don't know. So we about to go to the ruins on foot because you can't bike over there. Biking would have been fun. Um, but yeah, 
We're gonna go through this tent, get our temperature taken. I think we have to wear masks, I'm not sure. I think they said there was a guided tour. Again, I'm not sure, we'll find out together. Okay, so we made it in, we're masked up. We're gonna wash his hand. I got some sweat, a sweat towel, cause Jesus. And let's go see what's going on. So they got tickets. Looks like it's 80 pesos. We're gonna hope pesos. Got our tickets, right, Raymond? They were five dollars, ten dollars for two. Yep. Okay. And now we're about to go and explore with him. <laughs> A GoPro, you have to pay an extra 45 pesos, which is like three dollars. So Raymond went to do that. He's still trying to make it. But they making their money. <laughs> they don't want no cameras unless you pay. What is $3? We have a lot of pesos. We ran out of ones. They got us. <laughs> I don't know, he decided not to get the guided tour because he didn't want to pay extra. So we're going to be the guide ourselves. They have a nice little trail going. Looks like we're in the rainforest. Maybe we'll see something interesting. Something interesting so soon, y'all. Look at these stairs. So we're about to walk up here and see what awaits up here. You wanna race? Come on, let's go. Go. The stairs got too wide, y'all. I couldn't keep up. Look. We should have ran up the ramp. Jesus. Glad I got my dose of iron, y'all, because I would have never been able to do that without it. And this was only like three kilometers from our hotel, y'all. We just rode the bikes here. It wasn't bad at all. Look how they got the trees growing out of the um, stairs. Where? Gecko. Oh, look at the gecko, y'all. Raymond said Geico. Look at the insurance, y'all. <laughs> oh, look at that view, though. Oh, that water will never be. It'll never get old, y'all. It'll always be pretty. Okay, this little uh, tour or oh, that's adventure. Oh, oh man, it's so cheap. <laughs> Five dollars to get in, three dollars if you have a camera added to it. Thirteen dollars. That's nothing. Oh, look at this. Should we take some pictures? Oh man, that's cool. Okay, little tunnel. Oh. Where your camera? Another picture opportunity. Look at this. Yeah. And look at this. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Okay, now that we got the pictures out the way. <laughs> oh, look at that up there, y'all.
Shit. We in the dark. We might have took the shortcut way. Y'all, I know I'm, I'm ending this vlog with this, but this is how cute this hotel is. So it's Cortulum Retreat and Spa Resort, okay? Um, they brought us like a ending the vacation dessert. They just brought us this. It's so cute and thoughtful. I mean, it's just a little macaroon and chocolate or whatever but it's the thought that counts this has been a great experience for us we had so much fun the food was good the atmosphere was good um overall this was this is a win so we really excited about coming here i didn't really know what to expect because i read you know i read a little bit of the reviews they were kind of mixed but we had a good time we, we like tulum a lot and this resort very relaxing like if you're a couple I say come here like if you're it's a all it's an adult um, only resort so you can't bring your children but if you're like this is like some honeymoon type situation so if you just trying to you know you and your boo want to be out with each other you know it's time for y'all y'all should come here because this is where it is y'all like it's really it's really nice it's a really nice resort it really kind of has a couple feel to it so thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and I will talk to y'all later.